Hello everyone, it's Krista. This is another haul from yesterday and today. It's going to be probably not as nice and neat as I do my hauls usually. We're currently in the process of packing up. We're going camping tonight, so let's get on with this haul. Um, I'm first going to start with a local little um, outlet store here in town. A few of you guys have probably heard me talk about it. It's called Grandview. And like... I said once before they're typically just items that the package is messed up or for whatever reason and they decide to put it on clearance. And the first thing I got was for 50 cents was this little roll of Christmas stickers. Now usually I don't go for stickers like this but I really love it. It is actually Santa bowing before the baby Jesus in a manger. and. I'm going to use it to seal up my envelopes this year for Christmas because I really think it, I don't know, it just has a lot of significance between the commercialism and what I believe Christmas is really about. So let's move on from that. And then they had these packages of Inka Dinka Doo stamps. And I got this one for $1.99 and it's called the Kids Quotes. They're really, really cute. And then I got another package of Inka Dinka Do stamps with six of them in this for $1.99 as well. I can't really see what the original... six ninety eight is the original price at Target. I believe it's from Target. So really gorgeous. I can't wait to use those. And then I got me some little salon wedges, like the makeup wedges, for just 39 cents. And I got this really cute um, paper punch. It's by EK Success, and I only paid $2.99 for it. On the back here, it says the original price is 7 something and it's actually 2 This is the bottom of the cupcake, and this is the top of the cupcake. And you know what I was looking? You could actually probably use that as like... A teddy bear or a Mickey Mouse or something like that too. So that's really cute and I thought it was a good deal and I can't wait to try it. Next I got me some this clear acrylic blocks. You can see on there the normal price is $8.99. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this packaging or anything. I had no clue why it was sent there but I got it for $3.99. Next I went to Big Lots yesterday and just got a couple of little things. <laughs> really rare to actually for me to get four things, but yeah. And I got this I got this really cute seed pack for only ten cents. It's one of those Jolie's ones. I got two of those. And then I got these building embellishments by architecture for just ten cents as well. And then I got me some little charms for a dollar. This heart says a spoonful of love. Really cute. So that is big lots. And also while I was at Grandview, I got some um, spray adhesive for just a dollar ninety-nine. Fair I give it the try. It's normally $3.99. And then I went to two different Joann's. Um, the first Joann's I went to, I probably should start with the other one so you understand why I went back to the second one. I finally got me a heat gun. I got it on sale. I don't remember the price, but I got it on sale. So I'm really excited. And got me one of the Studio G's white stamps. I really like the CUG things. I don't know why, but I do. And they're small and they don't take up a lot of room. But I will eventually have to get some more other ones. And then I got these dollar stamps. It says, Mother is the heart of the home. Absolutely adorable. And this one it says, All you need is love. I love the birds. So cute. And then at the second one I went to, I found this little pink one. I had, didn't have this collar yet. And I got me two things of Easter egg dye because I've been using these to make my own glimmer mist. 
and it doesn't take much. You don't even have to use a whole tab. You don't even have to use half a tab, like a fourth of one of the little tablets that come with it. Mix it with water and some Perfect Pearls, and ta-da! And then I got this cute little stamp. Really cute. By Studio G. And then I got me some hmm, Elmo Black embossing powder. And then I got a big thing of the clear embossing powder. See how big it is? Hmm. Hopefully that will last a while. And then I got a paper pack that was on sale. I absolutely love this. It is it says one half with gloss. It's the Mod Retro Stack. I'm going to try to show you some of these. I absolutely love it. I won't show you all of them because I just don't have time for that. But to give you an idea. As you can tell, there, there's some glossy ones and that. If I turn the page, you can see what's glossy and what's not. Love this one. I think it's neat. This one's cute. It's like a sewing pattern of sorts. This one's so cute. He says, isn't she totally glamorous or what? This one says, home is home, it's where the heart is. I'll try to go. I love this one. It's like a record. I wish you could feel it because it has the little grooves like a record. And it says, so very lucky. The best song of all time. Very cute. And then there's some other cute. So what you would expect from the 50s or so. This is like a ledger. Very thick papers. Love it. It's like a postcard. Can't wait to do something with all this. And this was on sale for $9.99 at Joann's. And then the last thing I have to show you guys is probably the coolest deal of all time for me. And it's really heavy, so I got a Sussex for only $15, including the converter set, thanks to Craigslist. Yay! And now, since I have a couple more minutes, I'm going to show you one of the tags I made. This was for a friend of mine. I hope she likes it. And it has some different fibers. So pretty. A quote. I really wish I would have put the lace on the bottom too. Or at least at first. And it has a little quote. Memory is the treasury and the guardian of all things. And I put one of the little butterflies on there. And I did the back. I did the antiquing and such with um, Tim Holtz Distress Dyes. And that is one of my tags, one of my very first ones. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you all have a good day. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.